We started in 2011. Our first cars went out to the customers. We now have somewhere in the region of 12,500 cars with customers. And we have a, a very clear direction where we want to go now, which is Track 22, which is our defined product plan portfolio through to 2022. We are massively interested in understanding what the core values of our organization are. So we spent some time about four years ago really looking at our values as a business and going, do they reflect us as um, an employer? Um, as someone that brings supercars to the market. And then how do we translate those values into the way we do things around here? Because fundamentally that's what culture is, it's the way we do things around here. So we we're really curious as a business to understand, well, what are those secrets? What are those unwritten ground rules? Which we will actually know and we'll, we'll share with people, but we don't document them anywhere. Steve came in and he talked to us about this thing called unwritten ground rules. And um, it, it, I always remember his first presentation, everybody was just a little bit skeptical. It's like, really? Don't quite understand that. And, and through his technique and his style, he started to, to open our eyes to actually that there is within any organization, and it's not just McLaren Automotive, there's a, an unwritten way of doing things, which is, is quite strange. Um, and once we kind of realized that and we realized the potential to do it, he actually helped us then craft a set of questions to ask our people. And what we've done is we've taken the top questions that we felt really went to the kernel of, of how do we get to the next level of performance in our business. And then that, that really opened up another conversation within ourselves is how do you maintain motivation, staff morale, um, how do you get more out of an effective team and make it a world-class, high-performing team? And for us, we're starting to see massive benefits in that com coming through to the business now. Steve is an amazing personality and he has actually turned into a celebrity within our organization. He's a captivating presenter. He can in infuse enthusiasm and humor into quite serious subjects. And I think that that's one of his um, amazing qualities, his ability to bring to life the concept of UGRs and actually apply them to every day. He's very articulate, he's very serious about the subject um, because it is about unlocking the I didn't know that that existed type question. So yeah, I would definitely recommend it. The other thing that we've done is to empower our managers to look at the feedback they, that, that they have received and do something on an individual and team basis. So what am I going to do with my survey results on an individual basis, a team basis, and then an organizational perspective? So our managers have done a whole array of things. One of our senior directors took the feedback and actually developed a charter which every member of his team signed around how they would each treat each other and how they would raise issues should they be experiencing them. So actually it's all very behavioural, it is very much about how we treat each other, how we speak to each other, so it's fundamental because fundamentally everyone comes to work because they are passionate about this organisation and we really want to maximise that passion and UGRs help us do that. UGR now is embedded in the culture of the business, so irrespective of what we do or where we go with it, we will always talk and understand about UGRs. I think Steve is um, a really unique individual and the concept of UGRs is really unique as well. It's not one that actually I had come across before now. Um, and I think if an organisation is serious about understanding at grassroots level, what do people actually think? What actually happens? Then absolutely, you know, he is absolutely your man and UGRs are absolutely the way to go.